Yeah, the, what truly attracted me to this conference is uh, the diversity of the attendees this time. I mean, you, know, you have uh, Cisco, Qualcomm, Snyder, as well as many utilities here. So uh, truly an opportunity to learn and uh, see where the industry is headed with the, uh, the smart systems. Well, this is um, one of the best gatherings for people wanting to uh, learn something about smart water networks. The fact that if you think of water as a global industry, not a fragmented industry as it is today, you change the dynamics of the business industry. Um, but the main benefit comes from just interacting with a diverse group of people from different industries. Here are the biggest challenges of water. These are the privacy issues. These are the standards we need to have. Uh, it's always great to see different uh, approaches to uh, implementing uh, uh, smart networks within any industry. Uh, it keeps us abreast of what's happening around the world and uh, I'm really pleased to see more utility members this year. Great opportunity for us to share our real challenges in, in Brazil. It gives us a very nice uh, network, uh, easy to access. Um, obviously we get access to the research, access to other SWAN members. Oh, multiple benefits I would say. Um, networking, uh, the possibility to showcase research that we do to learn what the industry needs are in the smart, smart water network arena. Attending uh, the SWAN conferences have, have uh, gave us tools of architecture, of planning, of thinking out of a box on how to create a roadmap towards a smart water city in Jerusalem. And in these conferences we can meet with other water companies and with service providers and we can share the information in such a way that we get some ideas from other utilities 